What's up, Boomerites? How we doing today? Today's gonna be a special day because uh, this is the first time I'm doing this type of reaction video. This is my first time watching a particular movie. <clears throat> now, normally, uh, I wouldn't do this because I've seen tons of movies. Um, but in this particular case, I was scrolling through Netflix, uh, laying in the bed, and I came across Snatch. And I realized I never watched Snatch. So I asked you guys if uh, you would like to see me react to that for the first time, and a lot of you said yes. It was an overwhelming yes. So here we are. We're going to watch Snatch today. Um, British gangster film. Love gangster films. Um, Goodfellas, Casino, you know. Gangster films are where it's at, honestly. But... I have seen a couple British gangster films, um, ones that come to mind, Layer Cake with Daniel Craig, um, Legend with Tom Hardy, that one I particularly love, that was a great movie. Fucking sing! Um, but I'd never seen Snatch, and I'm actually surprised and shocked that I haven't seen it. Um, so we're gonna watch that, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to watch this. Um... Brad Pitt's in it. This is a, a Guy Ritchie movie. Guy Ritchie directed it. I don't think I've seen a lot of Guy Ritchie films, now that I think of it. So, maybe I'll go on a binge of Guy Ritchie films. So, if you have more suggestions for Guy Ritchie films, let me know. But, let's look this up. I'm going to go to the Wikipedia page here. Snatch. This movie was made in 2000. It's a crime comedy film. Written and directed by Guy Ritchie. Let's look at the cast here. Jason Statham, Stephen Graham. Stephen Graham is a very underrated actor, in my opinion. That guy does not get his due as a fantastic actor. Brad Pitt. Who else is it? Benicio Del Toro. So yeah, Vinnie Jones is in this too. There's some stars in this. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I've heard it's a classic film, but this is my way of finding out in person. Uh, once again, this is my first time doing this type of video, this type of reaction video. I normally wouldn't do this because I've seen a lot of films. I actually follow um, two channels come to mind and I love their stuff because I, I myself love watching people react to some of my favorite films for the first time. The two people that come into mind are uh, Mr. Video. If you guys haven't checked him out, go see his channel. He's very funny in his reactions to uh, think, to movies he's watched for the first time. And Natalie Gold. Natalie Gold, I've followed her for a couple years now. And she's, she's brilliant watching uh, all these classics that I've seen before. And uh, I've, I love her reactions to everything, too. So go check out those two channels. Because they're great stuff. But anyway, Guy Ritchie, Snatch 2000. Let's get into it. I'm really excited. Let's go, you Muppets. All right, let's get my headphones on. Look at these glorious and pristine $5 Radio Shack headphones. Quick story why I have these. I had proper gaming headphones when I uh, used to game a lot more, but uh, there was one particular session that I had where I rage quit, and then I took my headphones and threw them across the room, and they shattered. So uh, that was the end of those, and uh, that was an expensive break. So <clears throat> two things happened. One, I had to get new headphones, so I spent $5 at Radio Shack. The second thing was I started gaming a lot less because it was bad for my health. So that's why I have these. Let's put them on. I guess it would help to plug them in too. All right, Snatch. Let's get into it, y'all. My name is Turkish. Funny name for an Englishman, I know. My parents-to-be were on the same plane when it crashed. That's how they met. That's wonderful. That's Tom. Look at young Stephen Graham. He tells people who's named after a... Actually, you know what? I have to put on closed captions because you guys have said that Brad Pitt's part, you can barely understand what he says. So I just put on the closed captions. 
Do we have a choice? Eh? A lot of it wasn't meant to be taken literally. Oh, <laughs> the Amish people. What do you want I should do? Drop my pants? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like being told off by an Amish fellow. Actually, are these Amish people or is this like hardcore um, Orthodox Jewish? You understand this? It was of a virgin that caught people's attention. It's not every day a virgin conceives and bears a son. Gives him hope. It's not really important whether it's fact or fiction. People like to believe. I don't want to hear anymore. Yeah, neither do I. I go. Mutti, you have kept us waiting for half an hour. Are you trying to give me heartburn? Mutti. <laughs> oh my god! Benicio del Toro has a big fucking gun. It's a goddamn hand cannon. There is the stone. That was a good. That was a good uh, gun flip right there. That diamond is huge. There he is. I'm already enjoying this. I like this style. It's different for a. Uh, oh my God, George! He looks crazy. The style is very different for a uh, gangster film. I'm liking it already. When does your plane leave? That was one hell of an intro. When you get to London, if you want the gun, call this number. Boris. 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 He can get you anything you need. Boris. He's headbutting a uh, thing. Well, maybe he's part of a anything goes uh, boxing ring. I don't know. What's happening with those sausages, Charlie? Double knee sturkis. What's happening with them sausages, Charlie? Five minutes, sturkis. It was two minutes, five minutes ago. Right. No, Tommy, there's a gun in your trousers. What is a gun doing in your trousers? It's for protection. Protection from what? The Germans. <laughs> Where did you get it? Oh, it's the blade. You <laughs> that's not a gun. Yeah, that's not a gun you want to keep in your uh, pants. You need a holster for that kind of gun. If he's reliable, if it doesn't work, you can always hit him with it. Boris the blade. Yeah, I knew that was going to be Boris. Boris is always a Russian. I feel like so many uh, char Russian characters are named Boris in movies and TV shows. Right, I'll take it. Is that the same gun from uh, that Benicio del Toro was using? Pull your tongue out of my arsehole, Gary. <laughs> Dogs do that. You're not a dog, are you, Gary? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. You do have all the characteristics of a dog, Gary. All except loyalty. It's Ooh. What a burn. But I've got no time for grasses. <laughs> okay, so he's the big dog. Feed him to the pigs. If you're gonna deal with him, you just gotta make sure you don't end up owing him. Oh, he does have pigs. Look at this. This is nuts. Are they Lancashire pigs? Who the fuck's talking to you, boy? <laughs> Boris. Boris. Americans can't know it was Russian. Oh, yeah? I gotta move the melis and the two grainers here and get a better price. A couple of this. Talk to my... <laughs> what accent is that? And Frankie. And what? Stay out of those casinos. Uh-oh. London? Yes, London. You know, fish, chips, cup of tea, bad food, worse weather, merry fucking poppins, London. <laughs> Oh, uh, stereotypical London, gotta love it. The man to speak to. Pretends he's Jewish. Wishes he was Jewish. Even tells his family they're Jewish. But he's about as Jewish as he is a fucking monkey. 
<laughs> okay. He isn't selling struts. What do you take me for? This so I'm guessing there's a lot of uh, Jewish gangsters or fake Jewish gangsters. Seems like, I don't know. What are you doing it? It's a free country, isn't it? Well, it ain't a free shot, is it? So fuck off. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. I thought he loved Jewish people. He wants to be one. The weight is sign of reliability. I always go for reliability. Oh, so he gave him the gun back. Why gun Stephen Graham doesn't have the, the gun? I thought it was the same gun. There is a book you say no that will take bets. <laughs> More Vegas. This man loves Vegas. It's a campsite. The pike campsite. Ten points. What are we doing here? I'm trying to figure out if this uh, movie jumps around in time so far. Um, because of that whole gun thing. I thought Stephen Graham got the gun. And now it looks like Benicio Tor Toro has the same gun at the same time. So <clears throat> maybe we're toying around with time in this movie. We'll see. 250. Never quit. Oh, you're a real tight fucker, aren't you? Man, I <laughs> Fuck that. Can't be Mickey. It's not Irish. It's not English. How are you? Fair to witness my kindness for the horses, you know. It's just, well, it's just pikey. Get your hands out of there, you tiggy little joy. Cup of tea for the big fella. Come on. Don't be silly, Mickey. So if he's not English or Irish, what accent is that supposed to be? I don't know. Dags. Do you like dags? Dags. What? Yeah, dags. Dags. Do you like dags? Oh, dogs. Sure. I like dags. Dags. That's funny. Good dog. Good family. <laughs> I see what all the fuss is about. Look at that! Look at that dag. That's a beautiful dag. What happened here? Whoa! This woman's ready to scrap. Fight for it. You and me. Oh, cheap shot. You want to stay down? Well, if I know movies and I know how much they pay Brad Pitt, he's not losing this fight. One punch knockout. Okay. That's the end of that scene. <laughs> oh, he got... Is he dead? Which makes him harder than a coffin nail. Right now. A gypsy boxing champion. Sounds like uh, a little like our friend Tyson Fury right now. He's doing big things. Tommy. That's it. Is he crying? And if he isn't, he fucking should be. <clears throat> that was his only job to get the caravan. So moist tonight. A what a night? He was in a James Bond movie. Which one was it? That uh World is Not Enough, yeah. What is that, Vince? This is a dog, so you are not bringing that thing in here. What's your problem? It's only a fucking dog. What you it's a dag. Get it right. It's a dag. <laughs> Poor dog. Oi, stop the dog. <laughs> he immediately leaves. That's hilarious. Boris ain't worried voice? about shit. I have a job for you. From Russia with love, eh? <laughs> Good movie. This is a stolen car, mate. While I'm at the wheel, it's my car. So stop that dog dribbling on my seats. All right? <laughs> I can't believe you found it. Go? These guys really hate dogs. Dags. Fuck me, I thought you said he could drive, so. Listen, don't worry about me. Just worry about that dog. It's Dag. Get it right. Oh my god, he can't get out of the car. <laughs> His 
please. Just worry about getting us a gun, yeah? Yeah? Oh, he whipped out the Jurassic Park gun. Oh, my. Anti-aircraft gun. <laughs> yeah. You're going to run away from pulses, don't I? You'll raise hell. Never mind pulses. Oh, my God. That is such a sick gun. That's, uh, that gun in particular is actually illegal to sell in the United States now, I think, or something like that. Because it's such a powerful shotgun. And even if you could try to get one, it costs, like, an obscene amount of money, like five or six thousand dollars or something. Yeah, I want to see Tyrone move them wheels, man. Uh -oh. A natural fucking idiot. Tyrone, what are you done? Get that dog. Get dog. Off <sighs> I don't blame you, Dag. I'd have enough of people that don't like me anyway. Can't swallow a whole bottle. <laughs> what was that? How are we going to explain this to Bricktop? That his fight isn't going to happen. He's going to feed you to the pigs. That's what's going to happen. Not exactly Mr. Current Affairs, are you, Tommy? Mad fist went mad. <laughs> and the gun shot himself. <laughs> That was some uh, Scorsese style editing right there. It was us that one in the caravan. Anyway, what's wrong with this one? Yeah, it's not for me. It's for me, man. You what? It's not. <laughs> it's like, what is wrong with these people? I'm gonna pull my pants down, squish me up. I ain't for penetration. That sounds like a wonderful uh, mantra. We're changing the fire. Oh, fuck me. Your lady friend got a voice. <laughs> a fight? What do you mean? What do you mean a fight? A boxing match? Interesting editing in this movie. You're talking about Frankie. I've got a problem with gambling fucking four fingers. <laughs> yeah. I don't... With uh, movies, when they do like split screen kind of stuff, I'm usually not into that. But um, if it's just a converse, phone conversation like this, I, I, I'm okay with it. Do you hear that, Doug? I'm coming to London. <laughs> Shut up and sit down, you big bald fuck. <laughs> that editing and then the insult. That was classic. We've, we've got sandy beaches. So who the fuck wants to see him? <laughs> I'm not gonna get it out. It will probably cough it up. Poor Dag. He's got a squeaky toy stuck in his belly. Do you know who this bookie belongs to? Look, if you know what's good for you, right, you give me everything you have. <laughs> The screen now. Oh. How you doing? Good thing he's got the uh, the Jurassic Park shotgun. Copa coins. What do you mean? Copa fucking coins! Oh shit! <laughs> oh man, she just robbed him of his six thousand dollars shotgun. Oh. These guys aren't very good, are they? What the fuck are you two doing? Oh my god. Get us out of here, Tyrone. And there he is, stuck in the van. Finally out. Get us out of here! And look at that! Tyrone is the man who figures it out. So maybe. You're going down in the fourth. Is that clear? Let's make sure he doesn't kill me before the fucking fourth. Well, is he going to knock the other dude out with one punch in this and screw everything up for everybody? Oh, 
Oh, headbutt! I guess that is legal in these, uh, underground fighting rings. I called it! <laughs> it screwed everything up! I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's like, whoops! <laughs> That's hilarious! Thanks for the tip, Bricktop. It's a new fucking fringe. If I throw a dog a bone, I don't want to know if it tastes good or not. You stop me again whilst I'm walking, and I'll cut your fucking Jacobs off. Oh, did he cut him? Holy shit. Well, don't mess with Bricktop. He'll feed you to the fucking pigs. What are you doing with him? The case was attached to his arm. So why didn't you chop it off? <laughs> Why didn't you just chop the arm off? Oh. Here is the, the Tangran. No, no. Keep it. We want this. Well, at least half of this. Uh oh. They found the the big diamond. Russians have such a gangster reputation that Yep, up, oh, here we go. Drop the gun, fed boy. Yeah, I'd drop it too if I was face to face with a Browning high power. <laughs> this movie's wild. I'm loving this. It's oink, oink. Shit. Yeah, I guess the pig threat is real. Russians have solutions to everything. Just ask them. You again, you motherfuckers. Wow. Look at him. <laughs> but this time, I do want him to go down in the fourth. And I do mean it this time. Oh, so he's getting another shot, huh? He's just gonna knock him out in the first round again, though. They set two lurchers. They're dogs, before you ask. Dags. Get it right, it's dags. And the hare has to outrun the dogs. Dags. Ah, Tyrone. You silly fat bastard. It's like Tyrone's in trouble. Yeah. Right. It's a terrible parcel to the paddy with the blue vice. Have a man. <laughs> if I didn't have the subtitles on for that, I would not have understood a word of that. Shout out to you guys for telling me to put the subtitles on, especially for his character. I think I'd get everybody else, but his, I wouldn't understand a word. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Who's proper fuck nadding? Right. Hope this is not a bad moment. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I do. <laughs> he looked terrified. <laughs> He's got his hand over his face. <laughs> the pig feeder. Then I hear the best thing to do is feed them to pigs. You've got to starve the pigs for a few days. Then the sight of a chopped up body will look like curry to a piss head. They will go through a body that weighs 200 pounds in about eight minutes. That means that a single pig can consume two pounds of uncooked flesh every minute. Jesus. Do you know what nemesis means? A righteous infliction of retribution manifested by an appropriate agent. Personified in this case, 
by an honourable <laughs> me. <laughs> I love this dude. I don't like it when he's hitting the dogs with a stick, though. Oh my god, he's still alive? Oh my god, he was being put in a body bag when he was still alive! What have you got to tell me that's so funny? <laughs> now they're important. all in bags. <laughs> if you keep that silly fat wanker, the lads can't lift it. 48 hours. After that, it's your family. And the pigs finish what the dogs don't do. Oh my god. A bookie's got blagged last night. Blagged? Speak English to me, Tony. I thought this country spawned a fucking language, and so far nobody seems to speak it. <laughs> Unlike yours, man. I want to know Black Bricktop's bookies. <laughs> do me a favor, do it. I will do you a favor, mullet. I'll not bash the living fuck out of you in front of all your girlfriends here. <laughs> what the fuck is that, John? Driving down the street with your head stuck in my window. Jesus. It's very effective, Tony. It's not too subtle, but effective. I'd say. A Russian? Oh my god, he's got a deagle. And if that wasn't enough, he thought it would be a good idea to burn Mickey's mum's caravan. Ooh. While she was asleep. Oh no! Oh man, the pig feeder is really getting dirty now. Yeah, he does not look happy. I mean, who would be? You want to see if I've got the minerals? The gun doesn't shoot though. Hey, you pulled it off. Russians. Should have known. Anti Semite, slippery Cossack slut. <laughs> <laughs> what an insult. It's the slippery Russian. I hate Russians. I'll take care of them. So we always rise by that, son. Not a problem. I like how they didn't even show it. It's just, they didn't even show it. They just skip right to the part where he's like, damn it, get me to a hospital. Very industrious for a cousin. He's got grenades in there. Look at that. Of course they fire. Yeah, but how'd you know? I mean, they're replicas. What do you know about replicas? Well, you wanted to know whether or not they work. I didn't mean it. Try it in the car, so You are. These so guys bad. are a trip. <laughs> oh my god! What was that? Is that bars? what it was oh man oh hey at least they still got the dog the dag come on then for the germans get it. the germans <laughs> this is such a wacky movie man I certainly told him Tommy Oh my god! What a serious looking gun that was. Uh -oh. I don't want to fuss. And I don't want to put a bullet in your face, but unless you give me exactly what I want, there will be fucking murders.
They smell pussy. And they want a piece of the action. And you thought you smelled some good old... <laughs> the fact that you've got replica written down the side of your gun. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that I've got desert ink. Point five up. Written on the side of mine. <laughs> yeah. Now. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, I think that was my favorite scene so far. That was so funny. These guys are so bad. Shoot me. I will. I'll shoot you. Uh oh. Uh, oh my god. This is not good. Pull your socks up! Oh, they got the case. Oh, well, goodbye, Boris. Guess you couldn't dodge those. But this Boris, I show you now. Jesus Christ. Well, how is he still alive? Come on. Almost. He's gonna run out of bullets. Fuck you and all. Oh. You lucky bastard. Yeah, because you're out of bullets, man. There's no way you can survive six 50 caliber bullets. I don't care who you are. I know it's a movie, but still. Still got the squeak in his mouth. <laughs> or his belly. It's because he swallowed that toy. You ain't from this planet, are you, Vincent? <laughs> I use that insult sometimes to my friends, too. Was he sweating, Gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Oh, Gorgeous is still alive. How about that? Well, what if he doesn't make it to the fourth round? We get murdered before we leave the building. And I imagine we get fed to the pigs. Right. That'll definitely happen. And I'll show you how to control an uninged pig feeding gangster. Bollocks, I'm going for a Good walk. point. A very good point, Mr. Statham. AKA Turkish. I mean, you can't blame him. His mother was just killed. No, I'm being serious. It, the, the dog. The dog must have had it. Oh, no. Well, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, no. Don't do that. Well, look in the dock. Don't do it. Look in the dock. I mean, open them up. That's a bit strong in it. I agree. Don't do it. No. <laughs> it's biting him. <laughs> He gave up the diamond to save the dog. I can't believe it. I like that guy, even though he's an idiot. Thank God for that. Oh, now he eats it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, that did not just happen. Come on, Tony. Oh, that's so good. After all that, the dog does eat the stone and gets away. Bravo. That is great. Anything to declare? Yeah. Don't go to England. <laughs> that's so great. Uh oh. Mickey ain't doing so well. Here we 
we go. Let's try this again. Fuck face. I like that one, Al. I'll have to remember that one next time I'm climbing off your mud. <laughs> There's a campsite full of papers who might not think you're so fucking funny. Not when they're putting out the flames on their children's backs. Ooh. Wow. Here we go. That's a big boy. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, is he going to get up though? Because he's still conscious. Okay, so the fight's still going on. Saved by the bell. Talk about saved by the bell. Exactly! Thank you, Turkish! Did Fight Club come out before or after this movie? I'm assuming after. Uh-oh. Man, that's some wild editing. <laughs> My God. I'm loving the editing of this fight, though. This is, it's phenomenal. All he's got to do is stay down. Oh, no. Now. We are. <laughs> yes, you are! <laughs> oh my god! I knew that was gonna happen. You ever crossed the road and looked the wrong way? Give me that fucking shooter! And then, hey presto, there's a car nearly on you. So, what do you do? Something very silly. You freeze. And your life doesn't flash before you because you're too fucking scared to think. Somebody in the car shot him. For every action, there's a reaction. And a piker reaction is quite a fucking thing. Oh man, the gypsies got him. Pete, talk to me. If you want your friend to hear you, you'll have to talk a lot louder than that. Give me that fucking shooter. I'll give you a shooter. In the face. This is a wild movie, man. What you doing it? It's got to do with you. <laughs> this is the first time of cops have showed up in this movie, and it's the end of it. Oh my God! It's the dog, the dag. He loves that dog. Always playing silly games. And are they gonna? Oh my God! Could you tell me? Yay! The dog lives. Tommy persuaded me to keep the dog. I eventually agreed, as long as he took it to a vet. The vet found half an undigested shoe, a squeaky toy, and an 84 carat diamond lodged in its stomach. So what do you do? You got to see the man that knows about these sort of things. So what do you think? Do you know anyone who would be interested? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm on. Here he comes! That was great! I love that! Alright! Excellent! That was fantastic. Excellent. That was absolutely excellent. Snatch. <clears throat> that editing in the uh, the final fight with uh, Brad Pitt and whoever the guy he was fighting, 
That final editing was superb. I really enjoyed that. I don't think I've quite seen anything like that editing in a m movie before. Um, Brad Pitt was fantastic. That was one of his uh, better roles I think he's done. Um, I'm glad that you guys said to put the closed captions on because half of the stuff he said, I wouldn't have understood it. You guys are right. Um, Vin, Vinnie Jones. Vinnie Jones in that scene where the guys have the replica guns and he's got the 50 cal Desert Eagle. That was hilarious to me. I think that was my favorite scene. Um, and I'm really happy that the dog survived in the end. And the dog got those two guys rich who went through all those, you know, because Jason St Statham and uh, Stephen Graham went through all those troubles and are trying to get these things to work and it all falls apart every step of the way including at the end and they get away with a dog that delivers them a four carat diamond classic classic i love it it's fantastic um benicio del toro was very good too in the uh, first half of the movie because he gets whacked and the guy who plays um the guy with the glasses, I'm like blanking on his name, the pig feeder guy. That was a fantastic role. That was probably the best role in the movie, uh, bar none. I mean, I don't even know who that actor is. Uh, I've never seen him in anything before, but those, I mean, he stole every scene that he was in. I mean, I guess you have to because he's the uh, most feared gangster in the, in the story, but I mean, just the way he... he talked it was it 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 was clear that this guy is the steam is the scene stealer in every uh every time he shows up so it was great i can't remember seeing any other guy richie films i know you guys have said uh maybe i should do lock stock and two smoking barrels if there's other ones in there let me know but i really enjoyed this this was this was uh probably my favorite of the british gangster films that i've seen this was probably my favorite it really was i mean i'm a huge fan of tom hardy's uh, legend i think that's a fantastic film um and i love tom hardy um he's one of my favorites but i think this one this this one trumps that um Maybe by a little bit, maybe by a lot. I don't know, because this was an epic movie, and I, I, I still can't believe that I haven't seen it before because I've heard of it, and I've heard that it's a good movie. But um, usually when I hear of a good movie, I get around to watching it. I can't believe I never got around to watching this. Um, it shocks me, but I'm glad I did, and I'm glad I asked you guys if I should react to it, and it's been a pleasure. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. I wish uh, I might have to go back and watch it again on my own, like once or twice, because um, it was it was so good. I'm that I'm stoked right now that I watched that. It's fantastic. But anyway, thank you guys for uh, watching this with me. Um, a lot of you guys have seen it before, but I'm, you know, one of my favorite things to do is to watch good films, good stories. And that was a really good one. And I enjoyed the hell out of it. So thank you for watching along with me. Um, you guys have a great day. I'm King Boomer. If you liked what you saw, like, subscribe. Do whatever you want. It's free world. Um, if you think I should do more movie reactions, then let me know in the comments. I will try to do some more if you guys enjoyed this. Um, however, the, I have seen a lot of films, um, which is why I don't do them. I mean, I guess I could fake um, having not seen them before and do these reaction videos, but I don't want to do that. It's not genuine, and it, it, it probably I'd probably easily give it away because I'm not a very good liar. So, <clears throat> you know, I've always enjoyed other people watching um, films on YouTube that i've seen and i want to see the reactions to it so i hope that this turns out well and i hope that you liked it and you guys have a great day and i hope to see you again all right everybody have a great day and stay safe out there 
Love you guys. Peace out.